Welcome back to my channel. My name is McPato and this is McPato PC. And today I'll be showing you guys how I tore down my Vega 64 uh, reference card to change the thermal paste for a thermal paste experiment that I recently did. Uh, I'll link that uh, video up in the corner up here. Just click on that card and check that out if you're interested in the results. But uh, before starting a project like this, it's a good idea to have some of these tools handy. I'm just going to go over that real quick. Here's a couple toolkit options. Real important guys, you're gonna need a PH0 and a PZ1 or PZ1 uh, bit, which this kit includes. It's from Just Tech. I fix it also would have it and many others, but just so you guys know if you're looking for a kit, those are the two you'll need for the reference Vega 64 teardown. Uh, tweezers are handy as well as, as are some of these pry bars, uh, magnifying glass, that kind of thing. This anti-static strap is important to help prevent electrostatic discharge when working on electronics, so you'll probably want to get one of those. A pry tool like this always comes in handy when dealing with electronics. Just use it carefully. Uh, something like these needle nose pliers were useful for the reference Vega 64 teardown. Again, you got two electrical connectors, one for the Radeon logo on the top, lights up, and then one for your fan. Uh, you'll want an anti-static mat this here is just a mouse pad, but it is rubberized on the back with a cloth surface. So I use that as my work surface. I have this item here from iFixit. It's called the Magnetic Project Mat. I got it on Amazon. The top is magnetic. You can write on it with the included dry erase marker and really do a good job of organizing and labeling the screws and where you got what parts. Uh, the back is like a felt sort of. Uh, rubbery material so it won't damage any surface uh, as far as the actual removal of the old thermal paste you want to use something like a, like a coffee filter or uh, one of these uh, cotton swab or uh, cotton rounds or uh, maybe microfiber cloth that kind of thing just be careful not to leave any fibers on the GPU or your memory or that could cause some damage obviously down the road uh, you'll want Q-tips are handy as well for tight spaces. Uh, you'll want, obviously, replacement paste. This is MX4 from Arctic. It's a quality paste. Uh, also Arctic Silver 5 here. Whatever you do choose when working on GPUs, just make sure it's non-conductive so it won't conduct electricity. And that just helps save your components down the road should you make a mistake and it go over the edge of your, your GPU or your memory. Isopropyl alcohol is handy for removing the old paste. This is a 99% concentrate. You'll want something 95 or up. 90 and up probably would work, but why not get the higher stuff? It's available everywhere. Um, here you got Arctic Clean 1 and 2. That's a two-part process. Part 1, you can put some drops of the product on the uh, old thermal paste you want to clean. Let it sit for a bit. Wipe it off, and then you use the second one to polish or clean it real well. Uh, I'll be honest guys, it does work very well, but so does the alcohol. So whatever you choose, those are two of the options available. And with that, we're going to jump right into the teardown. Hopefully you guys like it. Once that's done, I won't be coming back in this video. But if you want to see me again, guys, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And um, I'm going to bring you guys some content, hopefully three to four times every month moving forward. So Stay tuned for more great stuff from me, or feel free to check out some of my old stuff. With that, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.